Good evening. A 12-year-old girl has told Central News how she was attacked and mauled by two dogs. They tore away part of her face and left her needing plastic surgery. Her family are furious and when the Alsatian was put down. Tom Parmenter has our top story. The history of a toddler found wandering the streets of Birmingham. Police have no idea who he is. Yes, he's about two years old and he isn't old enough, of course, to tell officers about himself. So far, nobody has reported him missing. Well, for the latest, let's go live now to Hansworth and our reporter, Keith Wilkinson. Keith. It certainly is, Keith Wilkinson. Thank you for that. Well, moving on now, relatives of four members of the same family who died in an arson attack are offering a reward of £10,000 for information about the fire. Detectives have also issued an appeal for the writer of several anonymous letters to contact them. Andy Bevan has the details. Police have... Great news. Now, officials from the RSPCA want to trace the owner of a horse found strangled to death after it was tethered to a rugby post. A number of horses are roaming on fields at the back of Pensnet School of Technology on Tiled House Lane in Dudley. The animal which... Now, Birmingham R&B singer Jamelia has been sharing the stage with one of the world's most famous campaigners in a rally to raise awareness of world poverty and inequality. Also addressing the Make Poverty History event was former South African President Nelson Mandela, himself, of course, a victim of political pressure. We're joined in the studio now by the um, Birmingham Anglican Bishop, the Right Reverend John Sentamu. Thanks for joining us, Bishop Sentamu. Um, just while we were watching that, although you're not here to talk about that, you said uh, Nelson Mandela, quite an inspiration to you. At university, when I was only about 18 and been locked up, we used to protest every day. And when I came to this country in 74, every Good Friday, we were outside um, South African House, praying that he'd be set free. And so when he was set free and then he became president, wow! And then meeting him, because while he was in prison, we never knew how tall he was. And when I met him, I felt like a little, a little midget, there he was. And he grabbed me almost to want to lift me off the floor. And, uh, and I've got um, a Nelson Mandela shirt, which I wear on special occasions. Fantastic. Now, let, let's turn to why you're here. Yeah. Now, you're touring your diocese, uh, but you're leaving the car at home. I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Well, uh, the privilege is a walk across the whole diocese, 285 miles. This, I start on Good Friday, on um, Ash Wednesday with the Bishop of Aston. Uh, he starts in Litchfield, I start in Worcester. And then we start walking. Mine starts from the Leaky Hills. Uh, down to the cathedral and then every night we and every day we're staying in different people's homes so we're hoping a lot of people will join us. And it's to celebrate the fact that the Birmingham Diocese is a hundred years old exactly. and you've also did a leaflet tonight. Yeah. I see that you're raising money for three different causes. Can yeah. you just tell us a little bit about what you're raising money for and why? A hundred years ago the city of Birmingham was really full of child alcoholism and the first bishop of Birmingham, uh, Charles Gore, with Joseph Chamberlain campaigned to stop it. Licensing girls came in and the place was, was cleaned up. So I said, How many years what can we do to celebrate a lot of people here in this city of Middle Earth have been doing something wonderful? So I thought, well, three causes. The first is really to do with children. So the Birmingham Children's Hospital is linking up with the Children's Hospital in Malawi and they're trying to set up a better pediatric, pediatric center. So that's wonderful. So we want to support that. Mm -hmm. Secondly, guns, gangs, knives, and drugs are blighting our city. And I believe by working together, Everybody in the community will can cure this particular problem because Birmingham is a wonderful place. And then thirdly, of course, our own cathedral, which gets a lot of visitors, but there's nothing worse than sitting behind a pillar and not seeing a thing. So we tend to put in some prism screens as well as interactive um, stuff so that people can actually be connected to our wonderful museum when they visit the cathedral. That's the screens These are very high set. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good, doesn't it? Obviously, you're going to be covering quite a few miles. Yes. Have you been in the gym? You've been pumping iron? I, I have, have been. been very I have been, I have been going to the gym. Yes, I've been yeah. going to the gym and training, and um, and I've done a travel around of 16 miles and did that in five hours. So I'm thinking I'm going to be okay. And what worries me though is how you're going to keep your strength up because this is during Lent yes. and Christians during Lent you don't eat fish, meat, yes. dairy yes. products, things yes. like that. So yes. what are you going to be eating? How are you going to keep strong? Vegetables in Birmingham are in plenty of supply so I've been enjoying very much. Yeah. Yes. And what happens after this? Obviously you're going to walk around your diocese. Yes. I mean what? Yes. Land's End, John O'Groats? Right? Yeah. <laughs> That would be the next thing. <laughs> if I don't manage to raise uh, a lot of money, that would be the next thing. So I'll come back to you and say, by the way, we thought we we're going to get the sky's the limit, but we haven't got to the sky yet. So maybe start another thing. But I think the thing is, we are being joined by a lot of people on the walk. 
And that in itself, uniting communities, introducing people who probably live in the same street but don't know each other, is going to be fantastic. It's going to be a great community event. Yeah. Now, how do we raise money with you? I mean, what do you do? Do you want sponsorship money? I want sponsorship money. How do people, this little leaflet you've handed me tonight, and yes. there's a form I can fill in and make a donation. Absolutely. Is that the only way? No, we're on our website, and everywhere I visit, like I've come today, there you are, you've got one. Yeah. Uh, and our website actually has been launched, and we're hoping a lot of people are going to be involved with this. Businesses, schools, communities, everybody, because in the end, three causes really are here to create partnership that will transform our city. Bishop Centenary, thanks for coming in. I'm sure here on Central News we'll be keeping up with you along the way. I hope you come and join me in the walk. Of course I will. Good luck. Thank you for joining us at Central News. Now forget Sainsbury's and Tesco, the real battle on the high street is going on in the bargain basement sector. Yes, the latest branch of a shop selling everything for 99p opened in the Midlands this morning. But they've got a long way to go to compete with the market leaders who are based in Willenhall. So that was your report. What was your favourite 99p item? The glow-in-the-dark boulders. As you walk Why? up to them, they glow fantastically at 99p so from America. What do you do with the boulders, though? You, you just them? put them in your lawn or wherever you want them and just walk to your house. And they might, it's like a game show. There fantastic. I shall go down and get you some tomorrow, Darren. Yeah. Uh, you're watching Central News at 6. In a moment, the winner of our Brits competition. Plus, how would you fancy the chance to do this to your old school? A dream come true. That's to come. <laughs> Now, the result of our Brit Awards competition. A reminder of the prize, two tickets to the Brits, plus transport and, of course, accommodation. Yes, and the winner will be rubbing shoulders with some of the biggest names in pop. Stars competing for awards include Birmingham's Jamelia, who we saw earlier, and fellow Brummy Mike Skinner, better known as The Streets. Between them, they could walk away with seven awards for categories such as Best Album and Best Single. Now, the winner who told us uh, Jamelia's big hit was called Thank You is Emma Mason from Coles Hill. Well done to Emma, you're off to the awards next week, and thanks to everyone else who took part. Now, more success in this region now. A student dentist has plenty to smile about after winning an international award for her beauty and talent. Amrita Hunjan beat off competitors from around the world, and Steve Keeling went to meet her. <laughs> 